Hi there, I'm Roger and I play the French horn in the TSO. And today I was playing a natural horn. As you can see, this horn has no valves. No, no valves to change the pitch of the notes. So I have to use the natural harmonic se sequence. And the tension in my lips to change the sound. Horn parts in orchestras in those days were written a little bit simpler. We can't, they didn't include lots of chromaticism. So just very simple parts like. But you're probably wondering, but what if the music changed key? as music always does, or usually does, change key. Well, we have a very clever device for that, and that's called a crook. This is the basic part of the French horn. It's just a bell and a few tubes. And this is the crook here. You can see it's just, just um, an extra bit of tubing that's wound around for convenience. And I can change this to a shorter one or a longer one. If I get a very short one here. Let me see, what's this one in? This is in A. This one goes much higher. You can see, I just put it in there. It's actually just one loop of tubing. A lot higher. I'll take that one out. Put in a really long one, um, maybe that one, and it goes even lower than the original one. So that's the natural horn and my crooks and how I change the pitch and change key. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video of the natural horn and its crooks and I hope you enjoy listening to the TSO recording.